Hey guys, by now you're probably starting to see that I'm a very fundamental teacher. And the reason for that is that progressing on the violin is so directly related to how good your technique is. Trust me, I want you to play awesome songs in as soon as possible time. But to do that, you have to be doing these things off the bat. You know, so many people that have been playing five years and 10 years, they wonder, you know, why can't I get a good sound? And I know you want to get a good sound. So I'm trying to set you up for success. So if you follow these lessons very closely, I promise you, you'll be in a great position. Even in the, in the next 30 days, you're going to see good, solid tones and you're going to be able to progress at that great um, pace. OK, so my next most important drill that I find that, that helps students is what I call the rocking bow drill. OK, so what I want you to do is I want you to focus on how you're holding the bow. Always focus on how you're holding the bow and set your bow at the very end of the bow here on the strings at this position. So not over here, not here, just right here. That's where we should make contact with the strings, with the bow, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to take your right elbow above the instrument and all the way down to your side. And I want you to just rock the bow across the strings. I don't want the bow to slide. I just want it to stay firm. And that's done by clamping and pressing just a little bit with the index finger down just kind of clamping and keeping it secure okay we don't want it to slide around but at the same time this drill we're doing is we're we're testing tension the tension that i talked about in the previous lessons that i highly recommend you watch that has to do with what we're doing this way we don't want to ever press against the bow with the thumb and the pinky that causes bad sounds bounces screeches you name it okay so that's what this drill is doing it's testing your tension but we always want to be pressing with this finger because that gives us tone, that gives us solid, um, clean transitions. So that's what we're drilling in this lesson and testing. Okay, so your elbow all the way above the instrument, all the way to your side, and the, the key is not to make a sound as you're doing that. So we don't wanna make this sound. Okay, that's an indicator that you are not holding the bow as optimally as you can. And if we can get rid of that as soon as possible, you're gonna soar with your tone on the violin, okay? So most of you guys are going to have this issue and make sure that you're doing it right at the tip, not here. It's just not as it's harder to do at the tip. And ultimately, we want to get used to playing to the tip eventually. And doing this drill here is, is a good way to do it. So make sure that you're not just kind of going here, not too far with the elbow. I want you to come all the way up and, and just like you're dropping your arm down. OK, if you do anything different, it's sort of cheating. You're not really seeing the problem. OK, it's OK to get the problem. It's just it's bringing awareness to what you need to work on. OK, but yeah, uh, most students kind of just kind of go a little bit and try to prevent it. If if you can't not make a sound while doing this and having the arm easily moving. Like this, then there's tension up against the bow. OK, so I would recommend doing this for a couple minutes a day and then also doing the previous drill, which I talked about the index drill to build that flexibility that we need. So these two drills together work really well. So you could do the index for a couple minutes, then do the rocking bow drill for a minute, come back to the index drill, come, kind of bring those back and forth. Soon you're gonna get that proper flexibility that's, that's gonna help you sound great on the violin. Hope that makes sense.